Hi, welcome to another edition of the Curated Crayon. Here on our second episode, we are going to make Sun Catcher. It's made out of coffee filters. Really basic materials. All you need are coffee filters, which you know, they look like this. Mom and dad might have them for their coffee maker. You just need a couple. They're very thin, so when you get one, you're gonna flatten it out, get nice and smooth. You're gonna also make sure you have your washable markers because this is key to our project, is that they are washable. So first thing you're gonna do is think, hmm, what am I gonna draw on here? What kind of picture would I like? As you can see behind me, I have some examples. I did some rainbows. I did a field of flowers. I did kind of a tie-dye looking one. Now your big question is gonna be like, now how do I color that and then get to that? That's coming up. There's a few more examples. Another nice rainbow piece. So watch me for an example. I'll do a real simple, easy one to start. I'm gonna make sort of a rainbow, I think. Let's see what I have here. I'm gonna color like this. Doesn't have to be super clean or neat because there's gonna be a really neat effect that we're gonna do to this after we color. And I bet you a lot of you probably already know what I'm gonna do but just wait for it, it's coming. So I'm gonna show you real quickly. I'm gonna give it a quick little color. We've got red, orange, yellow. Let's see how many colors of the rainbow I can fit on this one sun catcher. Now, sometimes kids say to me, well, what do I do with the sun catcher? The sun catcher, you actually hang it up in your window and it lets sunlight shine through and makes it nice and bright. Really nice to make some for yourself to make some and give them away as gifts. I know I've given a lot away as gifts. We'll have some more markers here. We're almost there to that magical special step. So as you can see, I got all sorts of colors happening here. Oh, let's find our purple. All right. Now you'll notice as you begin to color these, the, co the coffee filters, they start to flatten out a bit. So look, so now I have this wonderfully colored sun catcher. But wait, you're gonna need a spray bottle too. I forgot to say that at the beginning. So now your job is to, after you color your coffee filter, is to spray it with a water bottle just a little bit. Now watch what I do here. You maybe wanna spray it five or six times and you wanna make sure your water bottle spreads, not like a fine line, like a squirt gun. You want it to be like a spread, a spray. So one, two, three, four, six. And you don't want to make it so wet that it sticks to your surface. As you can see, I'm working on a glass table, so it's easy to pick up and clean. I would recommend at home, you put down like a tablecloth, like a plastic tablecloth, like a picnic tablecloth to work on. Because again, you're using washable markers, so that will be easy for cleanup. I don't know if you can see, but here, like my sun catchers up here around me, the color that you just colored in is starting to spread out. How cool. I'm gonna give it just for a little extra effect, a couple more squirts, but really importantly, you don't wanna spray it too much because then it washes out. You wanna make the colors come alive in your sun catcher. So we're gonna move this one aside. I'm gonna do another quick one like I did with the field. So, I'm going to spread my coffee filter out nice and flat. I'm going to make a field of flowers here. Super quick. You can do illustrations. I wouldn't do too much fine detail. I would do more landscape pictures, pictures of flowers, pictures of things happening outside. Because sometimes when you spray it, it tends to get watered down and you lose your picture but a smiley face, a bright sun, as you can see. I'm gonna put a sun up in the corner here because we all enjoy that bright sun. And then I'm gonna add some colorful flowers. There are so many ways you can do sun catchers, my friends. There's so many things you can add to them, cut them out. Here we go. 
last one, because then I'm going to leave the rest of this up to you and your imagination. I just wanted to show you how to get started. So I'm going to do like five or six sprays. And it's really neat to kind of pause and watch the water spread out into the coffee filter, into over your colors. And it makes your colors pop and spread. It's really neat. So as you can see, we're going to have to wait on that. But you're lucky, I already did a very similar one up here, so this is what it kind of looks like. So, that's our lesson on making coffee filter sun catchers. I hope you subscribe and like the curated crayon. There'll be plenty more to come. Have a great day, everybody.